Assuming you are big on Excalibur and you are using the free version, and within Cursor, you are building this amazing application. What if you can have one area of simply having your architecture diagrams along with your code and version control, all of that within GitHub? And that's what I'm going to show you today. Go back to Cursor. This is a demo I did around Taskmaster. What I tend to do right now is having a docs folder within all of my coding projects. There is always an architecture folder. Assuming this is the architecture diagram I wanted to capture for the project I'm working on, you're going to come in here to Excalidraw if you're using the, the web version. Uh, export this. I'll show the web version and then the cursor version. Come in here, do save as. This allows you to save the file to disk because this is essentially just XML behind the scenes, I believe. So just go ahead, click save. Call this amazing app and save this file has been saved into the location. So if you go back here within my architecture diagram, I always have this file saved. This is the amazing app Excalidraw file. Beautiful. Now, before we open this, if you're doing it for the first time, go over to extensions, search for Excalidraw, find this extension. It's kind of tricky because there are several extensions I found, but make sure you get the one from Palm. Pumter, about 74,000 uh, downloads, install that. Just click install, that's installed in your environment. You close this, now go back to files, uh, opening uh, this project, voila. Right within code, I have my architecture diagram. My code and architecture should live side by side. In here, you can pick things up, move things around. Let's say we wanted to bring in more things into the architecture, put in a circle in here, the experience you would have with uh, Excalibur on the web, you have that now all version controlled within your code. So if I come in and I wanted to commit my changes to Git because I have my, I think this repo should be connected to Git. If not, we can sort that out. Uh, if I wanted to commit the changes to Git, simply go in, make the prompt and those changes are committed to, to Git. It's taking a while there. But this is the beauty of Excalibur, a very powerful app. I use it a lot, but I'm curious, is this relevant? Do you use this? How do you document your code? How do you communicate? Not just for others. I think the communication that's more important is for yourself. I have hundreds, if not thousands of apps built because AI allows me to build those at scale. But what is painful is coming back to an app six months from now, one year from now, two years from now, and having no idea what that app does because you've forgotten and don't understand the flow. I believe having your architecture diagram along with your code is a game changer. Most people should be thinking about this. So hopefully this is helpful. Excalibur is a tool. You can use it on the web. You can also use it within Cursor. So go ahead, check it out. I'll leave the links in the comment section below. As always, this is Fru. I make videos on technology tips with a keen eye on the future. If you like that, give it a subscribe. Share this with somebody that might get value out of this. I'll see you in the next.